there's always lessons to learn from the land, right? That's why I absolutely love farming. I mean, farming, it's something new every single day. As you heal the earth, you can feel it in yourself. You know, you can feel the land wanting to protect and heal you and provide for you. That's all it wants to do. I was born and raised in California. You know, I think the calling for me to come to Hawaii was to figure out what it meant to be Hawaiian. When I first started at UH, I didn't really know what major I really wanted to explore. I went straight into the hard sciences. You know, maybe I want to do nutrition. And then I really started to question, maybe it's not nutrition. Maybe it's not the food itself, but where the food is coming from. Through the UH system, I found connection between my culture and a, a deeper understanding of what sustenance is and providing source and life. In Hawaiian, the word for land is aina. And aina is also the old word for ohana. When you're eating foods, you're being sustained from the land that's providing those foods. It's your aina that's sustaining you. It's your family that's sustaining you. One of the biggest concerns, especially if we're talking about food security, and about climate change, environmental disasters, is we're an island community. If something major were to happen, the island could be devastated. I believe Ulu is one of the key solutions to food security in the Pacific. Not only is it food, but it can grow in places with as little as 1,000 millimeters of rain per year, which is pretty low. My breadfruit project is essentially looking at macronutrient deficiencies where I can observe what's happening between breadfruit and a missing nutrient. So from this research, I am building a diagnostic tool for farmers so that they can visually observe what is going on with their trees so that they're able to maintain nutrition for the plants but also within the soil. I really hope that I'm able to help support farmers in revitalizing the production of ulu. You know, regardless of whatever I do in the future, I know I'm always going to be working with Aina because I'm an Aina Aloha practitioner. That's the path I've chosen and that's what I've committed my life to.